On this episode of NSFW Show, we're joined by Brett the Amtrekker Roundsville. He is the author of a new app, Spy Q, a way to keep yourself interested in Disneyland lines. We give him some suggestions on that. A mystery erupts for my cell phone, and Brian brum brum brums a bunch of movie trailers. It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 113, recorded on February 7th, 2012. Found it. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to create a high-quality website or blog. For a free trial and 15% off your new account for six months, go to Squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW2. When people dream of the unicorn, they seldom think that I'd be into porn. Nothing but rainbows and fields of lovely grass. Don't they think I might want some ass? Can't you see that I'm always horny? Hormonally, hormonally. It isn't only virgins who can capture me. I'll do any creature on land or sea. And they crave my touch I can tell From the whistles, clicks and such You might think that I'd go for it No, well, it's racist, man Let's take it outside You know that song to fit it I and ivory Stevie Wonder wrote that song for me Ooh, I'm just a unicorn Up in a dolphin Pumping a dolphin It's my not such a BFD is ready for my spiral screwing the magic fun store can do all your tattooing now here's the money shot watch this wait that probably was not the right thing to say <laughs> this is a real tattoo joint but i'm just a unicorn humping a dolphin humping a dolphin i'm just a unicorn and this is a real humping tattoo a dolphin, humping a dolphin i'm just a unicorn Oh my god, this is it! Happy to this go time for NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Weber Nets, the show that is nominally safe for work. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, joined as always by the distracted co-host, busy texting his new girlfriend, one Justin Robert Young. Who's your mystery lady, Justin? I don't know if it's a mystery lady now. I think it might be a guy. And we'll get to get to get into the mystery of Lana Janko a little bit oh. later. In the All show. right, but before we do real quick, I just got to say that opening video was was outside of my normal wheelhouse. I would normally would have balked at showing that, except for two things. Number one, that's a real ad for a real tattoo joint. And that guy got a real tattoo of a unicorn humping a dolphin with rainbows. Second of all, the music was was performed by Cornmo. Are you guys hip to Cornmo? Do you know about him? He is oh. amazing. If, if you look him up That's online... That's not Brett's girlfriend? No, Cornmo? it's, it's oh, not. Oh. Cornmo, I performed a gig at uh, uh, with the with the Middleston Family Circus over a decade ago, right when I was getting my start, and he, he came on. He did the best rendition of Thunderball I've ever heard, and uh, I'm talking about the Tom Jones th- uh, thing. And he's brilliant and funny. Buy everything you can from Cornmo. It is awesome. Hey, we have a guest, don't we? Yeah. Ooh. Hey, everybody. Uh, Brett the Roundsville Amtrekker is here, and he has a lot of fun things to say. Ladies and gentlemen, Brett the Roundsville Amtrekker. All right. Fun things to say, one. Puppies. Yes. Fun things to say, Pretty two. Fun. Dolphins. Yes. Fun things to say, three. Unicorns. Yes. I think you can guess fun things to say, number four. Dolphins? Turkeys. 
Oh, you were right. You're really good at this game. All right. <laughs> Now, hey, folks, man. if you don't know uh, Amtrager, of course, uh, you should go back and watch every episode that we've ever had him on. He's, uh, if not the best friend uh, of the show among oh, them. Uh, speaking of that, uh, I have been on a lot of episodes. Was must be That must be why this came to my hotel room today. It was delivered, actually. Uh, this this oh. little gym was delivered what? to my hotel room. And uh, you probably can't read at the bottom, but it says... Uh, have been on the show nine times more than Andrew Maine. Oh, my God. I don't know, I don't know if you've seen it's that. It's brutal. Yeah, because it's crazy, Andrew right? Maine was Did just grousing in public about how he got booted from the show yeah. in favor of Brett the so Trick around Seville. That's so weird. We were saying that really, the, the, really the, the, big, uh, it honors it's you. Heavy. <laughs> heavy. Man, it must, must suck to be Andrew Maine watching this right now, seething with rage, feeling he really, very... He really does have to hate himself. All right, folks. Uh, Amtrager has made a new app that is ingenious and amazing. If you're ever going to Disney, you need to download it. It basically, uh, uh, Brett, explain the, the, the finer points, but the uh, the gist is when you wait in line, uh, you will be able to pass the time quicker because you have a bunch of information in there, right? Yeah, the gist is when you're waiting in line, it sucks. Really? So, <laughs> I so, haven't no, heard that about uh, waiting in like line. Every time I've come on the show lately, I've been pitching something, so I feel really bad about that. <laughs> no, uh, look, we're going to make you this are, super you quick. You are the NSFW show's very own Billy Mays, and I just I, really, I insist you shout for the remainder of this pitch. Sell us on it. Go. This app is the most amazing app that you are ever going to see in your life. It does this, it does that, and it will also do the other thing. Most importantly, if you're weighing in line, if you're weighing in line, you're bored. If you're weighing in line, you're bored with your kid. You can open this app up and look for stuff. What are you going to look for, you ask? You look for close-up images of props in the attractions. What happens when you find those props in the attractions? You are rewarded with a fun fact that you may not know. You probably will not know. No one will probably know because this is a fun, fun fact that no one will know. Uh, some of the people might not have heard you right. You said you get a fun fact for finding an app? I don't... Oh, come on. That's gross. <laughs> No, it should be explained that this is for, like, you got family, you got kids, you want to occupy them. You download the app, and they're all physical items that will be somewhere in the line to keep you occupied, right? Basically, it's kids shut up the app. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit like that. It's It, it works really well for kids, but it's also um, – I wrote it mostly for the annual pass holder crowd. It's a lot of close-ups of, uh, of things you might not pay attention to in the attraction, uh, close-up images of things. And then literally when you find it, uh, it's also game-centered, so you get some points. But then you get uh, this random little-known fact about the history of the attraction or the land or about Disneyland itself or some of the characters in it. And, uh, and then there's also another portion that's kind of like a uh, slot machine that gives you a bunch of random stuff to look for in the park, like uh, people with a mullet or fanny packs, or matching families, and you get points for finding those things also. Um, it's, it's actually, I had a bunch of people tested in the park, and it got rave reviews from all of them, so I'm really excited to see the real world. How, how long has it, been, has it been published? It, it just now came out? It's only been in the App Store for about three days, all right. but uh, it's been in beta right for a couple of months now. How much, how much well, is it? It is a whopping $1.99. Oh my it's God, what are you, Howard Hughes? Spot. Jeez. Well, listen. Why don't you just uh, steal all well, my money, What jerk. is the name of it? Uh, what, what do people search for? Yeah, I'm going to get it right now. It's called Spy Q Disneyland. Spy Q, like Q-U-E-U-E. S-P-Y-O, so like Spy Q-U-E. Yeah, or the Disneylanders. U-E. Uh, it did. Um, and again, I fully recognize that this app is not useful for 99.9% .9 of people that are listening to the show right now. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't tell all of your friends who love Disneyland about it. Not everybody goes to Disneyland. Now, and listen, we're going we're gonna to get into – I have a lot of suggestions for your app. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. look, we, we, mm -hmm. we, we think you're on the right track here. We think we, mm -hmm. they, they might be able to use a little fine-tuning, but I'm downloading it right now. And maybe we should play some Spike You Disneyland. <laughs> maybe. Maybe we should. But you want to know what? <laughs> This is why uh, I didn't know what we were doing on the show until up. I came on. It's a bit. <laughs> uh, to be honest, we didn't know what we were going to be doing, but then you told us about your delightful app, and suddenly we knew <laughs> <laughs> that it was time. Look, I have Adventureland pulled up right now. Oh, there's okay. Toontown. I thought I shut my phone off, but I actually I'm getting a phone call real quick. Hold on, Andrew. <laughs> hey, no, <laughs> bro, don't cry. <laughs> oh, stop, Andrew. Andrew, stop. Stop. Stop crying. Come on. Like, I'm sure they'll invite you on another show sooner. Hey! Hey! 
Look, don't look, don't be a jerk about it. This is getting ridiculous. Andrew, you're being kind of an asshole right All right, there. look, I, I tell I Andrew to bug off. Andrew. Tell, tell him you're Andrew. busy. Andrew, Focus. do not threaten me like that. <laughs> this, we're throwing down. I will be in Florida next week, and we're going to have words in person, sir. Good day. Uh, wow. I, said good day. I guess that really... That, that does set up next week's episode when we're going to have Andrew on. I didn't know there was such a rivalry brewing up between you guys. Okay, so how do I indicate that I found something on here? Because right now I got it like it's here. You can see these different items that I'm supposed to find. You can't see any of this. I don't know why I'm showing it. Uh, but the uh, ha, ha, do you just self-check? Yeah, it's all on the honor system right now, um, which will change in later iterations. But then it's why the does it want to know my current location? No, oh, because there's to a prove map that feature. you're not in Disney World. <laughs> I will allow it to. Oh, it, it, it uh, actually right. well, shows you where you're in the park. That's rad. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Can we get into this mystery instead of you just personally going through an go. app quietly by yourself? And That's muttering? my new show. It's called. It's called Brian it's called looks Muttercast. at an app. Oh, look at that! Oh, I didn't know. Text alerts, maybe. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> dude, tell us about the mystery. Go. So right before the show started. I got a series of very irate text messages <laughs> that started off, literally, this is like seconds before we start the show. It just starts with, who is this? And then 18 question marks. Do I say, Justin Young, who is this perchance? And as I find out, it's somebody who's asking me why I keep harassing what I assume is a young woman named Lana Jenko. <clears throat> why do you keep harassing Lana Jenko? And you yeah. responded because she's a bitch. Well, no. So I, I respond, um, I have no idea who Lana Janko is. And it says, then why did you text her saying, is this Lana Janko? <laughs> I said, okay, is this a mystery? Because I've never texted a Lana Janko. She said, what the hell? She texted me a number, yours, saying you texted her. And I said, you have some serious questions to take up with Miss Janko, don't you? <laughs> and then what's the, is, is that where it ended? No, he says, okay, well, bye. At which point I started getting texted by who I assume is Lana Jenko. No way! <laughs> <laughs> who hits me up with a, who are you? Another 18 question marks. <laughs> say, my name is Justin. Is this Lana Jenko? <laughs> she agily responds, maybe. Uh, and uh, uh, your friend is asking me why I know you, which is hilarious because I don't. <laughs> and I said, well, I missed the number in this phone. Uh, do you are the wrong person who is constantly texting me? Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. So now, apparently it was all cleared up. Hold on. Can, uh, is that oh, yeah, all cleared up, meaning we're done? You're saying there's nothing we need to do to take this to the next Unless level? Unless there's a, maybe a suggestion you'd like to make. Oh, my gosh. I'll tell you what. We will take. Uh, we should take, like, open phone lines. Uh, but meanwhile, I'm trying to find things on Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Okay, come on. Can we, can we focus on the show? Found Jesus, it. Brian. Found it. Found it. Found Cheater. it. I'm the best this is, at this, this game. This is the easiest the game ever. Over the shoulder camera. I'm already on to Critter Country. I'm doing the Winnie the Pooh. Oh, there's no, there's no things there. I'm gonna go to Adventureland. Indiana Jones. Okay. okay. The Temple so, of Fun. I, I have, I have uh, apparently yeah. found it. Uh, Cheeto from found it. chat has decided to take up Lana's cause and text me, Lana here. I ain't no B I T C H. <laughs> See you next Tuesday, lover. <laughs> Wait, did you? I'm sorry. It looks like you have two trophies suddenly. Do you have two trophies? Oh, me? Oh, how did this other one get here? <laughs> oh, that's so weird. So weird. Look how strong they both look. <laughs> well, Brett, listen. Uh, those... <laughs> while, while you're collecting those trophies, which uh, huh? I don't know who's awarding them to you, but apparently they continue to collect, um, we wanted to make your app a little better. Yes. Okay. Now, now, and, and we're not going to say things like, you know, you should have like, uh, you know, some kind of crazy optical character recognition where you're able to, you know, verify that you actually find it or nothing. You know, because this is for parents with kids and the honor systems works, except against me, which, by the way, I just or saw. Or maybe some sort of fraud catch so you can uh, stop hooligans like Brian Brush from it. completely skewing found all it. the data by just saying found that he's seeing everything. <laughs> Found it. I'm very good yeah, at your game. Who got screwed? He just gave me a dollar forty. <laughs> Found it. Found Indeed. It. You should make you should make okay. the, uh, the 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 pose, Brett. 
<laughs> this pose. Yeah. Yes. There you go. That's why you got the. Uh, that's why you got the trophies. So here, here's the deal, Brett. Um, yes. I have an idea that instead of just having things that Brian can cheerily manipulate, what if you give people conversation topics for these lines? Mm-hmm. Just Brian, play, uh, for for instance. Well, uh, for instance, like add some zazz to it, like uh, uh, you know, that, some that's some good. Zazz really helped the provider when you guys uh, vomited chips. I, I think I added that in second issue. <clears throat> chip, chip there vomited. we go. See, you want to know what? We're, we're, we're already giving you, uh, we have a history here. This is yeah. a two way no, no, street. No, no. I and by trust two you guys way street, I mean, we give you gold and you and use explicitly. it. Yeah. No, no, no. I have nothing but faith in you guys. Hit me. Hit me with the zag. So here's right. the deal. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. ahead. We're, we're saying like, like we're saying that your app has the opportunity to make an interactive experience that goes beyond the application itself, that goes into what people actually experience, right? So it's like maybe maybe suggest a little bit of fun to have with uh, with uh, some of the operators as they get so you onto it, the ride. Example, example. Let's say that you are uh, taking you and maybe uh, a bunch of people. You're on uh, the haunted mansion line, right? Yeah. Your app. You just hit possible conversations and you can have a one line or like then just a, a suggestion this is a good time as any to talk about how your father died <laughs> <laughs> or maybe something like this maybe, no, maybe no, no, that's really good it's you can have badges that's what and achievements all about right is theming you're talking about the death of his father at the Haunted Mansion. I totally get that. That makes sense. Or, or but that, note. You, you can get badges and achievements. For example, stare for 20 seconds straight without flinching at the person in front of you in line or behind you in line. Like turn around and just and just full on inappropriately long. And then when you get it, you get you get the Justin Robert Young badge. There we go. Mm. Or maybe a that? little achievement. Like you can pinch the girls in front of you's butt and then say, oops, <laughs> wasn't me. It was the ghost of Rosa Parks. <laughs> Really, that would be really something that then you could say, "Got it." <laughs> oh. um, how about how about getting some sort of award for uh, making uncomfortable home videos? So here's the idea: you walk past someone who is filming a home video, probably their children, in front of the castle with the, the fireworks. Photo bomb achievement. And as you walk, no, 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 not a photo bomb. No, an audio video bomb. So as you're <laughs> walking past. As you're walking past and they're filming the fireworks. Audio video bomb like you can, a green lantern? You can lantern? say la- loudly maybe something like, uh, and then my anus never stopped bleeding. <laughs> and so when they're watching at home, maybe they don't pick it up right away. But maybe when they're watching at home, just... <laughs> <laughs> and that's when my anus never stopped bleeding. Or how about this achievement? The pretend to have lost your child and scream and cry. And then after a crowd forms around, you'd be like, just kidding. Gotcha. No, no, you, no, you just say, got it. <laughs> got that achievement. Got it. Got me start of panic. Achievement unlocked. All right. So here, I, and I, I have other ones, right? So so a Thunder Mountain, um, maybe you're you're with your family or whatever. And you just uh, you're like, okay, I'm going to go into Brett's. I'm going to go to Spike you. Uh Possible conversation. This was all built by slaves. <laughs> you got to say it right as you go down the flue at the very oh, end. Yeah. Good theme again, the- because as you all know, Thunder Mountain was actually built by slaves. What What do you think <laughs> about? <laughs> wow. <Right. laughs> and once again, all of the facts in Spike U are 100% accurate. That's true. Absol- well, again, these aren't necessarily facts. These are all just... I mean, we're just tossing them out. We're just spitballing here so you can have a good time with your family and friends. Yeah. Uh, I think that we should have interesting achievements like the Daredevil, where it's like you go through an entire ride having slipped out from behind the safety bar, or uh, they call you the streak. I'm not going to say how you earned that one. Those are both good ones. You do a thing several times in a row. Well, no, actually, you, like, you, you just don't wipe effectively and you see your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> you show your skin in undies. That's right. No, <laughs> they call me and you walk around in public. You're like, they call me the street. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you try to pass off skid mark underwear as your fast pass. That's the street. That you <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this says 1240. <laughs> like, no, sir, that says you don't wipe that. <laughs> What would you call the achievement if you if you uh, <clears throat> relieved yourself in the enchanted forest? That is the sound of brain short circuiting right there. 
Um, I don't know. I come up- Maybe you call it a life's goal achieved. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you call it I cured cancer. What have you done today? It, you can just call it finally. <laughs> yes. Uh, so here's another one, uh, Brett. So you go on It's a Small World. Mm-hmm. When you go by the Chinese portion of It's a Small World, you can just tell your friends, hey, it's not true. They don't really pee in Coke. <laughs> uh, that's good. Abolish have- racism through the help of this app. That's good. I oh, can yeah, help. Exactly, because feel- that's not true. <laughs> yeah, that's just a song they sing. They found Lana Janko's Twitter, by the way. <laughs> Did they? Yeah, it's it's right here. It's- <laughs> says uh, says I ain't no bitch, <laughs> Justin Robert Young. <laughs> no bitch. <laughs> it says we don't really pee in Coke. <laughs> So there we go. And I have, I have one more. Oh, my God. I, Brett invested with another honor. What? <laughs> did, you, did you win another award? I guess I'm just the best at being on the NSFW show. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is amazing because these don't look like they were bought at the 99 cent store. These oh, look like they were nope. legitimate awards nope. you just re- uh, received. Not only did they spend a lot of money on the awards, but they had to hunt me down in San Diego Find out which room I was in, and then somehow make them materialize on my person. That can't be cheap. <laughs> that certainly is. I'll tell you what. I'm 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 impressed. Uh, so impressed uh, is is what your friends and family are going to be when you go on Space Mountain, pull out the Spy Q app, and and have this little conversation starter. <laughs> Did you know this is where they shot the moon landing hoax? <laughs> Again, one hundred percent true. Exactly. And then, you know, you can be like, LOL, JK, you know, but, but now we're talking. Now yeah. we're friends again. You know, mm-hmm. now we can, we can start a conversation. Right. So, so that's, I, since that's you a good one. ruined that friendship in the Haunted Mansion line. Sure. Well, you know, <laughs> that's a, they, they, they can call you the scorched earth policy. That's an achievement. If you perform all of these all the way around uh, Disney, Disney, Disney Place, Disney's Square. Disney's Sport, sport. Here's what I and here's what I like about that. Yeah, I like I like that it's a misleading achievement name. It's the roller coaster achievement. But what that means is the relationship you will have with the people you're hanging out with. You go way <laughs> down when you get to the Haunted Mansion. A little bit up with the moon landing fact. Maybe a little bit lower when you. For example, uh, uh, the achievement then, called uh, "Take a Break" does not mean that you sit down and take five minutes, but instead you loudly insist that you just broke your femur and you wait. You actually summon medical attention, and then you reveal. And then that when you they didn't. get there, got it. <laughs> <laughs> Found it. Found it. I'm so good. At, just just stand up and go. I'm so good at this game and walk away. Oh my god, I'm the best. And they're oh. like, "What? Sorry, your femur." And you're like, "Oh." Found you need my 150 points, sucker. <laughs> uh, all right, but listen, this isn't all just about the Magic Kingdom, Brett. Mm-hmm. I've got these lines for Epcot too. Okay, so how about these uh, uh, <laughs> embarrassing facts about Epcot countries that will make you seem both worldly and superior? <laughs> this is good. This this is really good, especially for you know racism. We uh... exactly. So so Norway, right? You, oh, hold on. Apparently got, Andrew has responded. Just got, a, just got a tweet from Andrew saying, I'm at Taco Bell because there's nothing worth watching tonight. And it's definitely a photo of him at Taco Bell. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's so weird. So weird. Just, well, I can't like decide that. which I enjoyed more. Seeing you obviously reach over to grab another award or hearing the clank of all the other awards waiting in the queue. What? Maybe they're all playing Brett Q. The other awards are being like, I wonder when I'll get to go around his neck. That's so strange. I wouldn't. I mean, I'm looking around right now and I just, I, I guarantee you there's no more awards here right now. All right. All right. <laughs> Until they might get delivered. In which case, it would be a total surprise. Like the kind of surprise that you won't have when you're pressed for facts about the countries at Epcot in Spy Q. For example, you can point out that Norway is currently facing a massive dairy shortage. Oh it my also God. comes with suggested one-liners like, who cut the cheese? Not you, because your country is facing a massive dairy shortage. <laughs> can I tell you, out of everything in the world, like like 
the hardest for me to stay on my best behavior is at the Epcot World Showcase because there's just so many, it's jokes, so many inappropriate things to say all around, especially at the end when they do the fireworks and it's clearly all the countries going to war against each other firing <laughs> missiles. Yes. It's a comedy jamboree that needs to be tapped. Absolutely. For example, if you're in okay. Italy, you can point out that Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi recently resigned because he was caught paying to have sex with a minor named Ruby the Heart Stealer. You could make sure that you pointed out, uh, just letting all you dagos know, my 15-year-old daughter is totally off limits no matter what the price. <laughs> and, and what's this achievement called again? Uh, this is called the... The Lana Jenko. No matter what the price. <laughs> um... Man, boy, the chat realm is just it's killing me that I can't that I can't switch to these instantly the moment they come in. We got another meme generator here. Who the hell's Lonajenko? We need a name for that guy, because he's the best. That's the clay class guy, right? <laughs> yeah, some stuff's going down in clay class. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Uh, what, uh <clears throat> for example, if you're looking for something to tell somebody in Morocco while you're at Epcot. You could point out that Ruby the Heart Stealer is from a small conservative farming village in Morocco. Uh, and you could make sure that you let somebody know, hey, anyone know where all the 15-year-old whores hang out? Oh my I'm God. asking for a very powerful friend. <laughs> <laughs> might, oh, there's some part might, of me that wants to... I might, I might not take a note on that one. I might not write that one down for future Listen, reference. I, I'm just pitching these. It doesn't no, no, matter no, no, whether I get it. or not I'm just, they, just they, they go in. I'm just, just trying to show you what tract I'm thinking of taking so that you know what else to throw my way. Just maybe <sighs> maybe that one had a line that is behind it now because it crossed it firmly. Sure. Okay. So what, let's, fine. We can leave 15-year-old <laughs> whores out of this. Okay. But yeah. Sylvia All right. Yeah. Stoney. No. No. That's a good. That's a you hear good that, Italians. Uh, by the way, Justin, if it matters for your ideas, your friend of mine, Tony Lay, is writing all these down. Uh, <laughs> apparently in Orlando. Well, that's good. Uh, and you want to, Tony right now currently works at the Animal Kingdom. Oh, and, you got. Any... I have some. I have some suggestions for Animal Kingdom. Oh, this would be great. Like what? I'm sure <laughs> he's know? thrilled that his name is suddenly associated with this broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> As is Brett Routzeville. <laughs> this could never go wrong. Uh, so here's the deal. Uh, there's a lot of animals at Animal Kingdom. <laughs> yeah, a lot yeah. of them have silly names. Yeah. So I've written some funny lines that you can say when you look at those animals. You can just be the funny guy. Doesn't everybody want to be that guy looking oh, at the animals? And doesn't everybody appreciate you that guy? Funny line, everybody loves that laughs. guy. Yeah. Why wouldn't they? Everyone loves that guy. Right? Yeah. So let's I, say... I, I you, you're, you're looking at a Florida cooter. You can say, hopefully this one doesn't give me crabs. <laughs> <laughs> I would give you $100 to say that. Well, now you listen. Which you can have these double here as an audio video bomb. <clears throat> oh, oh, man. Or, or for example, there's at, at Animal Kingdom. Uh, these are all real animals they have there. Uh, they have the military macaw. You can say, they won't let you bring these home either. I don't get it. It's an anti-war joke for birds. They don't let you bring oh, birds. Bring, bring them home. Bring the troops home. <laughs> that one didn't go over well. <laughs> <laughs> but you want to know what? They're not all going to be gold because you can come right back with the raw dog shell dog. <laughs> Like something, this sounds Justin's like something that Sergio Polastoni would pay to bang under 15. We didn't hear it because Brett was too busy explaining that you're going for your own roller coaster achievement. <laughs> what was the actual joke? Ow, it. Pretty sure it had something to do with more 15 year old whores. <laughs> there we go. Can we stop saying the name of the app now? <laughs> Just give yourself another I award. Do. Spy cube, Brian. I can't. Right now. In the app store. Oh, Spy Q. <laughs> Spy Q is. Uh, is... Stop, stop saying that. <laughs> it's available well, for two dollars right now. You know what? That's fine. That's fine because I actually have a totally different app. It doesn't have anything to do with the Disney property or anything. It's about like uh, 
touchdown celebration dances and throw the football down. It's called Spike You. And uh, Spike You, when you get to the end zone, you spike the ball, and then you look for things all around you. So Spike You. Yeah. Just look yeah, up Spike You. Um, can we not say that either? <laughs> I have a new app called Spy Jews. Oh it's, about, it's about the Israeli really intelligence agent Mossad. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because I already assumed that you were going to come back with a, a, another one, but I assumed it was going to be double the racism. Um, and I'm not even sure I can. Re- no, I can't. I can't say it. But I thought that you were going to go somewhere else. Uh, well, maybe it'll be written on one of your awards that you'll get later on. But I'll tell you what, while we're in the process of uh, uh, talking about companies that are distancing themselves from the show... Let's yes. talk about Squarespace. Okay, now, uh, real quick. Can we, can, we, can we pull back the curtain here for just a second? Um, we love Squarespace. and uh, We screwed up. <laughs> what's that? We screwed up. <laughs> we screwed up. We did screw up. Uh, turns out that just saying whatever we want <laughs> is a good strategy up to a point with Squarespace. <laughs> But it's so they point, love it when we make our ads creative. Yes. What they don't love is when we uh, do- say things about their product that isn't true <laughs> or, and misstate or, the <laughs> offers that they're giving to you, fine folks. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But, um, and, you know, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe secretly Squarespace still loved it, but certainly the go betweens between us and Squarespace felt the need to. Uh, disavow us of some misconceptions that we had. Give apparently, us a little rap on the knuckles. Apparently, it's not okay. So you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. <clears throat> do I Everybody just read it? go and make an "I'm sorry" Squarespace test. Go, go to go to squarespace.com/nsfw if that's still up. We don't know if it is or is it, but regardless, you could get you. You don't need a credit card to sign up. You can make yourself a free site for two weeks, two week trial. And you can make a, we're sorry, Squarespace. We think you're really great. And let's just say it's really important that you, when you sign up, use code NSFW2. Because what do you get, Justin? Why don't you tell us exactly and precisely what's great about Squarespace and what people will get when they sign up? You want to know what, Brian? Why why rely on me when we can get disgraced Italian Prime Minister and noted <laughs> whoremonger Silvio Berlusconi to read the script. <laughs> Silvio, welcome. Hey, it's a me, Silvio Berlusconi. Squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to create a high-quality website or blog. Squarespace.com has easy-to-use UI for creating and managing website or blog. Eh, pizza! Optimized for both beginners and CSS experts. They recently created a developer-friendly CSS editor that allows you to pop out the entire window full of screen, colors, code, undo, find, and replace. Hundreds of design templates to choose from, and you can customize any of the designs to fit your needs. They recently added a new 13 new template redesigns with 85 new style options and two brand new templates. Folks, go ahead over to squarespace.com, use offer code NSFW2, and get 15% <laughs> off your new account for six months. Anybody know where I can find the lady of the evening? <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, Silvio. Silvio Berlusconi, disgraced prime minister and noted whoremonger of Italy. Thank you very much for sticking to the script. <laughs> he did a great job. Make sure to use promo code <clears throat> NSFW2. It's, it, it's an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way he turned halfway into Dracula at the end. Because I'll I suck your blood. Got a weird I got a weird, he's got a weird accent, <clears throat> man. Silvio Berlusconi. Uh, hey, we just got, uh, we just got a communique. That uh, Jamber B will throw on the screen right now. There. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's, of course, uh, the carny cow uh, saying, Hey, mister. You hear? <laughs> I hear you want to know who Lana Janko is. Janko is. <laughs> I hear she's not a bitch. Uh, well, no, that's, that's the scuttlebutt from your iPhone, is it not? Well, uh, the only person who called her a bitch was you. Uh, I didn't. On the air. I but didn't. apparently on, on Twitter, she's not. Uh, here, here's the deal, folks. Uh, seriously, we we don't we do silly ad reads on the show for two reasons. Number one, because we listen to a lot of podcasts. 
and we hear the same ad reads read over and over and over and over and over again for a lot of the companies that are good enough to support this kind of entertainment. So we try to make it fun for everybody because we as listeners know that we would like it to be fun. However, we totally screwed up. And what we need right now more than ever is for people to use the hell out of their uh, their free trial on squarespace.com and just make whatever site you want, but make sure that you bombard their Twitter account and you let them know that NSFW show is great. Because otherwise... This whole phony baloney operation is coming to a complete halt. I'm just letting you know. They've already this created, not- we love Squarespace, we love dot .squarespace.com. Yes. There we go. So so help them out because, uh, seriously, otherwise we're never doing the show again. Well, and keep, and people are asking if we went too far. We didn't go too far in an ad. We just inaccurately gave the actual offer that they had. And so it's important that if somebody's going to pay you that, that we, you know, if it's... Well, tw- yeah, because we, we thought we've read these ads a million times. Yes. That we would rather focus on whatever silly bit we were doing right. about the ad as opposed to actually saying things like how much you get off and how long your free trial is and stuff like that. But they didn't, thank God, they didn't actually go through and give us what we were saying instead of saying what we should have said. Oh, my God, no. That <laughs> was, it was, it was a coldly precise, I, I kind of want to call it up right now and read it right now on the air. It was a coldly precise evaluation of where we had, where we had messed up. Yeah, but it was, thank God it wasn't like, uh, pretended to be the Iron Sheik instead of <laughs> saying a 10% off on this offer code. So, so thank God that they didn't do that, uh, but... <laughs> But anyway, so there we go. Um, Squarespace.com offer code in SFW2. All right, now, look, we, we've already fixed all of Brett's problems. He got all those awards. I mean it, guys. Uh, if you want if you want Brett to feel good about ever showing up on the show again, you go buy his $1.99 app right this minute. Spike you. Well, you, uh, and also let me just point out, uh, if you don't want to spend any money and you're already in the iTunes store, you might as well subscribe to the free audiobook podcast of uh my reading of Andrew Maine's book The Chronological Man which is which is now there Andrew Maine uh, it's it's Can you not hear Brett? No, I can't hear Brett at all. I just see Brett this picture mute. of him pointing at awards for some reason. <laughs> uh there you go. Dan Ruby said that was his fault, but now we can hear Brett. Go ahead. Brett yeah, so no. anyway, Andrew Main uh, wrote Who? a book called The Chronological Man. Who? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's, that's all Andrew you Main. wanted to say was keep saying who when you said Andrew Main. <laughs> Andrew, uh, Andrew Main, he's, he's a friend no, of the show. He's a friend of ours. I'll good. try not to be uh, loud while you're saying your thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, now you're just shaking your awards while I'm talking about Andrew Main's book, Chronological <laughs> Man, now free on iTunes. Who? I did the audiobook reading. Andrew Main, he, he's, he's, a, he's an author. He's a science fiction author. He's my friend. <laughs> From Andrew Maine. Anybody see who bought the bodybuilding trophies I put up on eBay? No big whoop. Won them when I was six. <laughs> <laughs> That's back when he was traveling under the name Andrew Payne. <laughs> at the age of six. <laughs> uh, uh, so anyway, so Chronological Man, it's a podcast of an audio book. It's for free. Go get it. You're going to listen to all of it, and I'm going to read Lady Voices. But, Brian, what I want to do right now is there was a big movie trailer that came out today. Never heard of it. What, what, what is it? What should I be looking for? I actually haven't seen this at all. The Spider-Man trailer. Sp- Spider-Man. Spider-Man. The Amazing Spider-Man is going to be what it is. Is it? Are they really calling it The Amazing Spider-Man? I believe so. But, uh, yeah, it's directed by Mark Webb. And stars Andrew Garfield uh, from The Social Network and uh, is it Emma Watson? Wait, Hermione? No, no, not Emma Watson. Emma Stone? <laughs> I like the idea yeah. of Hermione cool. just randomly That's showing it. up. <laughs> um, but yeah, the trailer got a lot of press today. But what I figured, and people are already calling for it in the chat room. Oh, uh, yeah. They, they want us to, for the audio okay. listeners, get a feel for it. Can we just watch it straight here and maybe see if we have anything to say about it? Well, yes, but we have to get to a very specific point with you. Okay. All right. We're here. Uh, Let's play it first. How did you get out there? Fire escape. It's 20 stories. The doorman's intimidating. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Mr. Parker. Not much to tell, really. Peter lives with his aunt and uncle. 
Did you catch that spider guy yet? No, but we will. This guy wears a mask like an outlaw. I think he's trying to do something maybe the police can't. Can't? <laughs> Wait, is that Willem Dafoe again? <clears throat> you know, if you're gonna steal no, cars, don't dress like Whatever. A you a cop? Same guy. You seriously think I'm a cop in a skin tie, red and blue suit? Who are you? I know it's been rough for you, Peter. <laughs> I forgot all about that thing. It was your dad's. Your father was a very secretive man, Peter. Doctor Cutters. I'm Richard Parker's son. Your father and I were going to change the lives of millions, including mine. Extraordinary. How did you come up with this? There's a rumor of a new species in New York. It can be aggressive if threatened. I gotta stop him, because I created him. of New York's finest versus one guy in a unitard. Woo! If you want the truth, Peter, come and get it. I am issuing an arrest warrant for the masked vigilante known as Spider-Man. Oh, I'm in trouble. Check out these other trailers. Uh, hey, man, so, uh, wait, so, w- was any of that stuff in the comic books about his dad working on a secret formula or all that? That's all, not at all, But and yet people are saying it's supposed to be more faithful to the actual comic books. I mean, it's comics. Like, everything's been rewritten a billion times. I always hate yeah. when we're like, oh, it's it's faithful, it's not faithful. It's, it's Comic books are like pro wrestling. Everything can be changed in a second, people, things are retconned and killed and changed and completely rewritten, and and characters are are right. mean, the well, diametric opposite of what they meant a, an issue before constantly. While you were grousing, Kuhan informed me that uh, yes, it was in the Ultimate Spider-Man universe. So, uh, but uh, so at least there is one precedent for that. Uh, man, I don't know. I'm such. I'm such a. I don't, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know what to say. Yeah. yeah I, I don't know why for a talk show, Brian. No, well, no, 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 no. I I just (laughs) there are things I want to say, but they won't be funny. Anything I want to say about this will not be funny. It will be filled with fanboy rage, and I'll be defending the old series. And none of it. I'm trying very hard to reconcile how I actually feel about this with the fact that we do a comedy podcast. And instead, I'm just going to shut down and say, "No, uh, no, no, no." Let's hear how you actually feel about it. Then hit me. People are asking you to do a brum brum brum. I don't know. What? Sorry, these are just getting in the way now. There's so many, so many awards. <laughs> it's it's affecting your mic now, Brad. It is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> so, so, so you're, so, you're, course, say, you're saying you've never heard, but Brian does <laughs> famously with his brum brum brum. Poorly, very poorly. Is, uh, he will he will for the audio listeners tell you what you're missing because if you're just listening to this on audio all you heard was like score score line score but for the physical action you don't know what's going on brian's here for you he's going to explain don't undersell it justin he amps up these videos it takes them from a seven to a twelve this is uh, we've been hearing all day from the chat room of brum 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 (laughs) they've been wanting this from you brian it's still been building up and finally now the climax is here ladies and gentlemen boys and girls children of all ages brian brushwood unleashes a world famous brum 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 for you this evening for the uh, the amazing spider-man trailer i absolutely hate you justin it's like (laughs) you call me you call i'm actually cracking open a beer is a wash that's brum brum uh, they are they actually are um (laughs) brum but you're the you're the total jerk who's just like hey man just do something hilarious and uh 
I'll just do you the favor of building it up for five minutes straight, acting like it's the second coming of Christ, and all you got to do is do something amazing. If you've somebody stopped stalling, I wouldn't have more time to say that this is the greatest video. All right, go, 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 go. Ah, uh, crap. I just brummed all over the place. Does right now. Mm. All right, let's see it. Let's look at the trailer. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, let's turn this up. Here we go. And cue music. Stupid shitty for a copy reboot. <laughs> you already saw this joke in the first movie. Who cares about New York City or the stupid story? Because it's the same crap we saw a decade ago. Only it's different somehow. But I don't see how it's different. Only it's a slightly different altered mask. And that guy looks like Dennis Leary suddenly looks like a freaking Willem Dafoe. Here's a joke. Made in the back of a cab. As soon as you think I'm a cop, and this guy's got a red and blue suit. In fact, you're brums. Everything is the same, man. It's just like watching the same stupid movie the first time. But then again, this is how Brian felt about the reboot of Batman with Batman Begins. And then he ended up really loving that. And then he didn't like The Dark Knight as much as everyone else did. And then he, everyone made fun of him for not liking the second movie as much as he liked the first movie but the important thing is that this crap about his dad making secret formulas is annoying and i don't understand it and you're back to the problem <laughs> the lizard man never looked like a monster like that although this part looks kind of cool where he's flying through the city i could kind of be down with that and then more crap with the stupid new york city and it's all Whoa. Gwen Stacy instead of Mary Jane, which I always thought was dumb because once Gwen Stacy died in the comic book, I stopped caring about her altogether. So then... That's all they're doing in the chat room is shouting, keep brumming, brum the energy alive. I'd say the untold story to act like it's an expose when really all it is is another stupid reboot and for some reason they made the lizard man look like the Hulk and he was never like the Hulk. I watched the original 1960s cartoon of Spider-Man. This is a long trailer, and I feel bad for anyone listening to the brumming. Keep brumming. Underwater with the Gwen Stacy again, and an antenna falls down <laughs> for no good reason, and it almost lands on Spider-Man, but Spider-Man holds onto the side of a building, and then it's a taller Spider-Man than before. That's this year. We gotta watch this crap this year. Everyone. By the way, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Don't, don't you applaud for that. I hate all of you. Um, I sincerely hope that I totally eat my words and that you guys are playing this moment back to me six, seven months from now. Because, uh, like, I hate everything about this. And I – no Marvel property – Except for Iron Man, Spider-Man has been like the most precious Marvel property to me. And I actually thought that the first movie was fantastic. I thought the second, Spider-Man 2, may be the best uh, superhero movie over there. Spider-Man 3 was stupid. But this idea of rebooting again, it hasn't even been a stupid decade yet. I'm so angry at this. Why? But I hope I'm totally wrong. I hope I'm totally why wrong. Why wouldn't you want... I, I, just not, I don't understand why fans of things don't like more of things. Like, even yeah. if they're bad. Like, let's just keep... Making more of them. Because the, they're barnacles on your brain. It's like they affect how you feel about that thing. Be, and I'll tell you, by that logic, hooray for the Star Wars prequels. Oh, man, you like Star yeah. Wars? It's more Star Wars. Yes. No. no. I'm for the idea of prequels. No. It ruined I, I, it, it I don't actively, actually think they're good. In my mental Rolodex, there was a file, and it said George Lucas, and there was happy and joy and rainbows that were that were humping uh, unicorns that were humping dolphins. And now when I go there, it's just dolphin rape instead. And it's because of that crap that it's like and, – and it's like – it's terrible. I bet you Lana Janko doesn't think like that. <laughs> Just a new girlfriend, Lana Janko. <laughs> I, have, I have two things. One, I love that they remade the Hulk like six months after they made it the first time. And that two, was great. Uh, it's great. Now to the Avengers trailer. Oh my god. Do we want to look at the Avengers trailer? Can we, can we get a br only if you brum brum it? Because everyone yeah. loved the first one. Oh my god. 
Uh, what's the news? Somebody send me a link to the because you can't find like it's it's unlisted still. I thought right because they did that um, that trick to get everyone to give them their um, their. <laughs> Phil's all like, this is not frame rate. Stop having opinions about things. I want more unicorns humping the dolphins. There's no, no, this is not frame rate. So I'll go on a 15-minute monologue about copyright law and, and how it's ruining everything, and then it'll be frame rate. Yes. All right, there we go. Echo, echo, just fired this up. I, I only, I, I actually, man, I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm, I'm Mr. Haterade today. I didn't like the Avengers trailer either. Oh, you didn't? No, no. Well, then let's just get right what? into the brumming. Okay. <laughs> All right. right, right hey, pause, it's New pause, York pause, City pause, again. Pause, what a pause, stupid pause, surprise. Pause. It's always New York City. More explosions and someone doing a weird rumba. And now. Pause it. What? Hold on. Sc- scroll it back. Scroll it back. I'm your, I'm, I'm your brum coach on this one. All right, go ahead. What did I miss? I'm your brum buddy. All right. You need it. Here's the problem. Your meat and potatoes is the brum, and, and and you're going. You're just you're all commentary. You're no brum, baby. You gotta you gotta just like it's like one sentence. It's like brum 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 brum. New York City sucks. Why does every movie take place in New York City? Brum 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 brum. Just keep going. Just sentence with brum. No, no, he's right. You're going yeah. on monologues. All right, all right, <clears throat> all right. Let me get it together. Brum man's on us. Oh wait, it was back at the beginning. I hope that. Let me undo that. There we go. Samuel L. Jackson's on a space sled. Thor got struck by lightning. See, that's not funny though. That's not. Yes, it is. Keep going. I am man's chasing on the lead. More faces all over the place. Ninjas hijacked my mother. Iron Man's better than the rest of the team. What am I hearing? Well, who's getting more awards? Stop this. Who's getting awards? Who's getting awards right now? No one's getting awards. I heard the sound of award giving. We all heard the awards. It literally enveloped your your uh, microphone. Your mic. There's too many awards. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. We stand in a circle because it looks good, the Avengers. That's what we call ourselves. We're the mightiest heroes. I have an army. We have a Hulk. Hey, the Hulk. You know what? People are telling me I need backup brummers. I think this is a great idea, actually. <laughs> if we had backup brummers. <laughs> hey, the Hulk. That was great. Hey, why don't you? There's no other way to do the end of the show. That's it. That's the end of the show. I, I, you know what? I was hoping that you would send a text to Lana Jenko inviting her to tune in live at live.twit.tv every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern so they could join us for our shenanigans. Uh, so we, we only had the one sponsor this week, right? I just don't want to go, go out before we had someone else, right? No, we certainly didn't have another sponsor <laughs> that will completely screw up and have hate us. Well, you guys heard the offer code that was definitely spoken correctly by the child molester. NSFW. uh, NSFW2. Go to squarespace.com. Please keep us alive. Uh, My name is Brian Brushwood, and you can follow me on the tweeters, at Shwood. Justin? Uh, Justin R. Young on Twitter. Download Chronological Man podcast. It's absolutely free. Just do me a favor. If you're not going to listen to it, subscribe to it. Leave a five-star review. Be our best friend. If we can make it up to like the top ten in literature, that'd be awesome. We'd have three in the top two hundred. So I'd be very hey, happy. Also, watch Game On. It's it's good this week. the The audio sounds good. Yes, um, it's great. I love Game On and Daphne's uh, America's Sweetheart. Daphne is amazing. And uh, what's what's the name of the app, Brett? Uh, yeah, the one where you can look up all those horror jokes. I'd rather not. Say no. <laughs> <laughs> it's Spike You, the Disneyland version, and uh, you can find me on Amtrekker or at Amtrekker on Twitter, and uh, you'll be able to find all the information because I'm constantly doing nothing but whoring out my projects and never saying anything interesting. So it'll be really, really simple. 
to get it. all the information you need. Found it. Found it. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> Found it. It's really hey, not the most. Right game, it. dude. It's not the most challenging game. Hey, Found I just it. saw the uh, the uh, over the shoulder. It looks like you're uh, balling back there. You, what happened? <laughs> you lose it. You lose lose a little, little, little bit of hair back there. You lose a little bit of hair. I got? did. I did. That's that's Twitch shaved back in the back of my head for its solidarity. If you watch the uh, show after the game on, shut up and play, then you saw it. Found yep, it. All 18 people. Uh, there we go, folks. See you next Tuesday. Bye. All right, a fire. My name is Brian. That's my line. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was busy playing the, the fabulous new game, <laughs> Spike You. Big Thunder Mountain. Found it. Brian playing the game. <laughs> 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 <laughs>